Zero accounting software. Print, save as PDF, and organize profit and loss or income statement reports. Get ready to be an office hero with Zero. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in our custom zero homepage. We set up in a prior presentation, zooming in, holding down control, scrolling up on the scroll wheel, currently at 175% zoom in opening the demo file doing so with the reset button which will reset the data and open up the demo once open we're going to be duplicating a couple tabs as we do every time to put our major financial statement reports in them right click in the tab up top duplicate right click again and duplicate again middle tab accounting drop down we want the balance sheet tab to the right accounting drop down we want the income statement this time back to the tab to the left as that is that tab to the right is thinking and we're going to hit the drop down and go to a custom ranging on the dates and pull that up to 22 2022 the end of it por favor update and then that's what we do every time that's our set up process we're focused now on the income statement and thinking about what kind of reports we might be giving to a client or supervisor periodically, possibly at the end of the month, end of the quarter, or end of the year. We can organize these as we did with the balance sheet reports, possibly printing them out, possibly saving them as PDFs and then emailing them, possibly zipping them under a folder so we can give that one folder in an email, or so we can also export to Excel and then try to use Excel and a PDF printer to put all the reports on one file. So we're gonna continue with our work on that. Last time we did the balance sheet reports, now we'll just add some common income statement uh, reports. And you can see that just with these two major financial statement reports, once we add these variations of dates, vertical analysis, horizontal analysis, we have uh, comparative reports and whatnot in the current year, current quarter, two, two periods, multiple periods. We have almost, almost an infinite number of reports. So we have to choose which ones we want to be uh, saving or providing, and then we might want to uh, save them down here. So I'll just do a couple examples uh, of the reports we might want. So uh, first off, let's I'm going to right click on the tab up top and duplicate it. So we've got our normal kind of income statement that I can always pull from. Now the first income statement you might provide is just a normal type of income statement. Although you could have an, a normal income statement that has multiple periods that totals up for like the year to date, like a quarterly income statement in this case, if we want to represent an entire year. Uh, so for example, if I go into my dates and I choose this quarter, which in, in this example problem is December, and I say, okay, let's update that. So now we have the performance for the quarter. So October through uh, December. So, so we got the three months ended. And then if I hit the drop down and I want to see, I want to see the three other quarters and say update on that. So now we've got the quarter ended uh, January through March, April through June, July through September, October through December. And then maybe I want the total, which should give us the total on the year. So if I want to do that, then I can I can make sure I have this updated here that I believe I did already. And then I'm going to go to the edit layout and check it out in this format. So now we have our, our format and I can add a total column. Now note the default when we do that comparison is to have the oldest or the newest period first, which is common because you might want to, to have to look at it from the newest to oldest. But if you're if you want to see it from left to right, which you might do if you have multiple periods, then of course you could reorient this just saying I'm going to pull the January here 
and then April, and then like so. And then you might add the total column on the right. So I can then add another column and say that I want the, I want to have it to be a, let's make it a formula column and click on that. And I'm just gonna say that this is going to, to equal January's plus this one, plus this one, plus this one. Now that could be a little bit tedious to kind of put together, but once you have that put together, then you can save this report uh, and as, as it is there. And so I don't want to show it as a percent. I'm just going to call this the total. And we will uh, update the layout and see what that looks like. So now we've got the income statement and this total number should still be the total on the year but now we have it broken out by quarter and so that's another format that you that you could use you could do the same thing by month if it was like early in the year you might want to do it the first three you know that you could do it in that format as well so let's go ahead and save this information i'm going to say let's save it as a custom report and I'll call it, I'm going to call it number four because that's after what we did last time, even though I reset the data for the balance sheet. So I'm going to say custom report. Let's say it's number four. And I'm going to say income statement, profit and loss. Let's just call it income statement by QT or quarter. And so I'll save that. And then I'm also going to print it as a PDF. We'll send it to an Excel later. I'm just going to export it to a PDF. So it looks like that. I'm gonna then uh, pull out my PDF folder, just drag it into my folder. And I should probably, I should have changed the name. And this is PDF, I'm gonna say statement PDF, and this is gonna be by quarter or QT, which isn't the best professional name, but this is just a practice. Right click, I'm gonna rename this to, there it is. And if I was to open it up, then, that's what it looks like on a PDF. Now I could then attach it to an email with all these other reports. Uh, I might want to number the number it. So I might say rename number it. Let's make this number four so that then they know where to open it or we can export it to Excel and try to put them all on one PDF, which we'll do in a future presentation. Uh, if I go back to the first tab, you'll note that in my accounting and reports dropdown that in the custom reports drop down custom we now have this one here we don't have the last three we did with the balance sheet because i reset the data but we've got this one now so let's do another one i'm going to go back to the original income statement right click on it duplicate it and then pull this to the right sometimes it gets a little finicky when you got these multiple tabs you got to save your adjustments to this report if you want to make multiple income statements or it might try to save your changes to, to the new tab that you pulled open. But in any case, we're gonna open this one up. Now let's imagine that we want to have like uh, two periods, like two months that are gonna have the difference between the two months. So let's, let's do this. Uh, we could do this by quarter again, if we want to do that, we could say, I wanna have uh, this quarter, let's say this quarter, and then I wanna compare it to the prior quarter. So we'll say update. So now we've only got two quarters, the, the latest one up front, and I can take the difference between the two instead of adding them up this time. So, and you can imagine this kind of comparison in a similar fashion to comparing to a prior year or something like that. So now I'm gonna have a difference column and a percent change column. So I wanna add those. I'm gonna edit the layout to do that. And I'm gonna say, uh, delete the changes, I think, hopefully add a column up top and we're going to say formula and this time i'm going to click on this and say i want to take 2022 minus 2000 i'm sorry we want october minus yeah there we go that's right that minus that <laughs> and that's going to be our change or difference let's say and let's add another column i'm doing this fairly fast because we saw it before it's going to be a formula column and I'm gonna say this one is gonna be the change or difference divided by the prior period, which is uh, July to September. I want it to show as a percent. I'm gonna make it a percent difference. Difference. 
and there it is so let's update the layout so there we have it and that looks good i'm going to call this i'm going to call this a comparative income statement i don't need the profit and loss i'm going to delete the profit and loss i'm going to remove the pennies this time which i probably should have done last time which is our custom and so there we have this one so that looks that looks you know nice and so then i might want to save that let's see if i can copy the name up top i'm going to save it custom and i'm going to say it's going to be number five i believe of that i'll copy that and then i might export it so i'm going to save or export to a pdf i'm going to drag that over into my file here my pdf boom so we have that one I'm going to rename it, right click and rename number five. So now we've got those. I'll do one more here. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the original income statement, right click, duplicate, pull that to the right. This will be our vertical analysis. So I'll name it first this time. This will be vertical analysis, which I probably spelled wrong again, but whatever. And then I'm going to go down and say that this is going to be an edit layout. And how did we do this? Delete changes. I'm going to add this one and say we want a percent column this time. Percent column 2022. We want percent of income. And there it is. That's all we've got to do. Update it. Boom. And so it's beautiful. Mui B to the N, B N, baby. Okay, calm down. Decimals, get rid of the decimals. And there we have it. And then I'm going to copy this one. This is number six on the reports. So we've seen that last time. So we've constructed that. We'll save it as a custom. Boom, number six, we'll say, copy in that, save it. And then we'll export it as a PDF, pull it on over here into our folder, rename it, right click, rename, boom. So now we've got all these forms that it's starting to get quite extensive, even with just variations and these limited variations we've made on the balance sheet and the income statement. If you just attach all these to an email, that's gonna be somewhat overwhelming. So what you could do then is also have a cloud drive you can provide it to somebody or at the least you can zip it i'm going to delete this zip folder here you can right click on the folder and compress it if you're giving it to somebody which they they always change they still change it still messes me up the way they change the icons so there it is so you can attach that you might have a different compression software or whatever than this one so it might look different but you'll be able to attach that to an email or we can try to export these to Excel, use Excel and a PDF printer to put them all on one file. We'll do that next time. Also, if I go back here to the software, if I go to the first tab and we look at our custom in our reports and we go to our custom reports right here, now we've got our custom reports so that in future periods, this should be an even easier process. We can just print these reports out as they're numbered, batch them up, provide them to clients on a monthly quarterly yearly basis you might have different reports that you provide on a monthly quarterly and yearly basis so you might want to uh, deviate them up in some way or another but once you've set that up the, the 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 flexibility of being able to do most of that editing and saving it in zero is quite nice